So if you're basing your project uh, almost entirely on Unreal Tournament 3 or on a game which is very similar to Unreal Tournament 3's first-person shooter format, uh, perhaps Unreal Tournament 3 would be a better option for you to go with than the UDK. Uh, but the, uh, the debate doesn't end there, uh, because with UDK, it's always up to date. Unreal Tournament 3, whilst being uh, a really great game, one of my favourites, um, it did come out a couple of years ago. Now it's patched, um, or has been patched, to fix uh, any bugs or any sort of um, uh, gameplay uh, modifications that they wanted to, to put in to basically polish the game off, but it's still using technology that was developed in 2007-2008. Unreal Development Kit, on the other hand, is based on technology that was um, that came from Unreal Tournament 3, but was then further developed in 2009, uh, 2010. It's um, uh, in the last four months. It's had um, well. It's uh, we can go here and um, we'll just check in the uh, content browser under the start page. You can see that we've had um, new releases of the uh, of the UDK. Um, in December, in January, February, and uh, and in March, uh, it's constantly being reevaluated. Uh, developments are being put in, and um, and changes are being made. Uh, one example of this is if we look at the content browser, uh, we have this um, this incredibly um, slick and uh, stylish. Um, interactive environment. Now um, it's, uh, it's more than just uh, how the system looks, it, uh, it also functions in a lot, um, uh, a lot better and uh, a lot more user-friendly way. Um, and that's, that's just one of the things that, uh, that's updated from uh, Unreal Tournament 3. If we go to the Unreal Tournament 3 equivalent, which is the generic browser, uh, we can see that there there are similar sort of elements to it, but uh, as well as not looking quite as fancy as it does in UDK, uh, a lot of the functionality um, isn't quite there yet. It isn't as uh, highly developed as it is in uh, in UDK, um, and it's not just uh, it's not just being able to access the uh, the assets in the system. There are also uh, entirely new. Uh, new functions that you can use in um, in UDK that you don't have access to in UT3. Um, and so while Unreal Tournament is um, is a great game and it's uh, it, it is complete, um, it is getting to be old technology now. If you use the UDK you'll never um, be releasing something which is um, an older generation or old technology um, as part of your game design. With Unreal Tournament 3 you will be. One of the advantages to Unreal Tournament 3 however is that you can easily port your levels to PlayStation 3. Uh, this is because the functionality of Unreal Tournament 3 includes um, an interchangeability of um, the build um, functions that you use in the PC version and the PlayStation 3 version. This means that if you perhaps have friends who have an Unreal Tournament 3 uh, disc for their PlayStation, or if you uh, play Unreal Tournament 3 on the PlayStation, uh, you can actually bring those uh, levels that you create across to the PS3 uh, and you can play them there. Um, this uh, doesn't mean that you can um, create anything in Unreal Tournament 3 and uh, install it on the PS3 as a mod, but there is a lot of functionality that can be transferred over. So if you want to perhaps um, get your feet wet in terms of making console-based games, Unreal Tournament 3 has that functionality um, as part of uh, its system. 
Now, as I said before, Unreal Tournament 3 is a complete game, whereas Unre uh, the Unreal Development Kit um, has a demo version of that complete game, but uh, uh, also um, isn't sort of specific to the Unreal Tournament 3 game itself. Uh, which brings us to our third point for Unreal Development Kit, is that it's versatile. If you are going to mod for Unreal Tournament 3, uh, most of the stuff that you will be creating will be very similar to Unreal Tournament 3. Uh, that isn't to say that you can't completely revise the system, uh, that you couldn't make it uh, something uh, completely different to a first-person shooter. It, it is possible, but it would be a lot more difficult in Unreal Tournament 3 than it would be in the Unreal Development Kit. The UDK is set up to create games of uh, all sorts of different um, different forms, different genres, and uh, different functionality. Uh, the the ability to change the uh, the shape of um, or the way that things are are done is um, is implemented directly into the Unreal Development Kit. In Unreal Tournament 3, you would have to um, introduce that functionality yourself, possibly through Unreal Script or using C++. Now, one of the things that Unreal Tournament 3 has um, as an advantage is that it already has an, a ready audience. There are people out there who play Unreal Tournament 3. Uh, there are some people who play the game all the time. It has a very uh, faithful fan base. This, um, uh, this base of fans are uh, getting less as time goes by and as new games come out, but there will always be people out there who will uh, be interested in your games and will be willing to download uh, levels and mods that you create. Um, however, Unreal Development Kit, um, I'm sure, will grow in popularity. Uh, and also, um, even though uh, you might be delivering your product to people who don't have Unreal Development Kit or have never heard of it before, uh, they will be able to play it right from the installer that you give them. They won't need a copy of Unreal Tournament 3 and they won't need a copy of the Unreal Development Kit. They will just be able to run the program that you, uh, that you bake out and that you tell them to install on their system. Now, the final point in whether to use um, Unreal Development Kit or Unreal Tournament 3 as the basis for your games is uh, perhaps the most important point of all. And it's important enough that it could perhaps trump all of these other points that we've just mentioned. And uh, these points are because you're better at UDK or because you're better at UT3. Now, if you're familiar with UDK and uh, you've used nothing but UDK, you don't know anything about Unreal Tournament 3, um, the Unreal Tournament 3 editor, uh, and you can get more out of your system using UDK, then use UDK. If, however, um, you just can't get your head around UDK and you're better with UT3 and um, you can get the, uh, the system to uh, do backflips and do whatever you want in UT3, then sure, use UT3. There is something to be said for perhaps if you know UT3, um, if you're familiar with that editor, learning UDK, because then you, you also gain all of these advantages. But if you, um, you simply are more comfortable using UT3, then that's the editor that you should use. Um, that's a basic rundown of just a few points. Uh, that doesn't include everything that you should consider, but it's a good starting point for deciding whether you should use the Unreal Development Kit or Unreal Tournament 3. I personally would recommend using the, uh, the Unreal Development Kit, um, simply because if you don't know UDK and you are going to stick with UT3, well, then you can't use any of the tutorials that I'm going to be recording for you, which makes me obsolete. So, of course, I'm going to encourage you to use UDK, um, simply because if you don't, I'm out of a job. But, um, yeah, there's, uh, there's a, a lot of things that, um, that come into this sort of choice. So uh, I hope this has uh, made, made it an easier choice for, for you to make.